Hello everyone, welcome back to Ian's Innovations. Uh, before we get into what this video is about, I'm going to go uh, a little rant about something that's related to this. So earlier in June, I got uh, three Adventures sets. Mm. And you saw them in the My Love for Legos video. So, the Adventure series um, is widely known by adult LEGO fans as a really good theme of LEGO. And this is the original theme from 1998, 20 years ago. Can't believe it's been that long. And I'm gonna stay tri keep tribute to it for its 20th anniversary. So the next two videos will be about those other adventure sets. Okay. Rant done and now we're gonna go on to set. This set is called the Bywink Baron. Came out in 1998. Retailed for $6, which is less than how much it would be now. And it's been unopened. Very good condition. And now I'm gonna ruin the value. Very worried. Okay. Technical difficulties. And now I'm going to pour out its contents. Okay, you got some pamphlets. And this big piece here and the bags and I'll come when I'm done with building it. So here's the set completed. Um, I, earlier I forgot to mention that the set number was 5928 and there was only 69 pieces, which is pretty low, and uh, we'll first take a look at the minifigure. So here's the only minifigure included in the set. His name is Baron Von Baron. He's one of the villains in this theme. Uh, he has a uh, pilot's helmet, um, and I believe this is... The only send the Egypt sign where he has that hat. Other sets come with a uh, white adventures hat. He has this uh, tan vest and a hug for a hand, uh, binoculars for accessory, and a uh, white thingy. And he has a monocle, mustache, evil. No back printing because at that time Mayfair did not have any back printing. And, um, obviously, with a name of Baron von Baron, you'd, you'd expect he'd fly a plane, and of course, he does go for a plane, and we'll take a look at that. So here's uh, the Bywing Baron, and it's uh, a standard biplane that came in a few adventure sets. Mm has a brown propeller with some detailing for the engines. You got uh, shotguns here and there and well, they're not actually shotguns that fire pellets, they're just guns that use shotgun pieces. It's all black because evil. This is where Baron Von Bear sits and well you can't see much. There is unfortunately no control builds which is a little sad. There's some translucent pieces back there for Baron to see. There's also some fire to make it look kind of more extreme. Uh, for some reason there's this lump here. 
I don't know why Lego made it that way back then. They could have made another base here to make these two align. Here's some exposed studs which could have been filled up. And over here, you can place uh, the accessories. And there's even a map that we'll take a look at soon. Uh, there are tires here which you can use to fly. Just rest like this. And uh, we'll take a look at that map. So here's a map included in this set. Uh, it's not exclusive, but it's at least nice to get in this set. And it has uh, some kind of animal and there's a sphinx up top, pyramids, uh, crystal, uh, and pillar. Uh, there are three other maps that were in this theme, and uh, they come in other sets, and some even have all maps. It's a nice little addition. So here are the instructions. Uh, they're nice and short. Mm. No advertisements, uh, there's just alternate builds. And here's this little pan flip that comes in a lot of smaller sets that we're going to open up. Now even though this set came out in 1998, it shows some 1999 sets, so that means that's when this set was came out. This was around for two years. You got some the original Star Wars. Rock Raiders, which is the predecessor to Power Miners. I might get a few sets. At least try. You got our themes. Uh, Throwbots. Spaceport, Adventures Jungle, which is the second theme that came out this year. Um, well, not this year, uh, 1999. Uh, city Center, with uh, as people call it, Junorized Town, and the Ninja Line, which is very different from today's Ninjago. So here's this another pamphlet for uh, Lego Mania Magazine. Now it's called Lego Club. Here's where you signed up. Uh, I don't know if I don't think this would work today. Uh, oh god, fine. fine. And uh, it's something little that you could have gotten back then. And finally, we'll take a look at the box. Um, I've also forgot to mention that the reason why I'm filming this set first is because this was the first I removed from its packaging. You got some photos on the side, Baron Von Baron. Alternate builds, you got like a boat and a different kind of plane. Nothing here, nothing there. Not too much there. And uh, when I first got my hands on this set, from the mail, I was completely baffled how tiny it is. Uh, I don't know how you can tell how small it is, but if you've seen it in person, you'll know what I mean. And we'll now uh, go to the final verdict of the set. So overall, the Bywing Baron is a small set that I'm sure if you were a kid in 1998, you may have had it and had fun with it. And as I said before in my My Love for Legos video, these sets are still strong when looking back at them. Mm. Now, uh, there isn't too much that this set stands out for, from because nothing is really exclusive. But it's a nice little set. Mm. And, uh... While I was building, I... I have to be very careful to not break anything because it's a 20 year old set. And I can't wait to see what else the sets that I have in my closet have in store. And 
thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video leave a like you subscribe and I'll see you next time goodbye